everyone, Razbowski here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold. In the previous episode, we took on Whitney and our badass Miltank to grab the oh-so-sweet third gym badge of the adventure. Nelly, our Don fan, absolutely steamrolled through our team, tanking hits right, left, and center to get the W. But it was not all fun and games, no, we had tragedy as well, that's right. Shiva. Our sweet, sweet Sneasel was destroyed by one of Whitney's subordinates. She is now up in the white clouds with Arceus, hopefully having a rare candy or two and chilling out, just frolicking around and having fun. But it was a, it was a tough, tough episode to take because that was the first loss of our uh, Nuzlocke challenge. But that's what you get when you sign up for one of these. You are always going to lose Pokemon, but... It was, uh, it was the first loss, so it was hard to take. But unfortunately, there is more tragedy, ladies and gentlemen. Whether or not you skipped ahead, I'm going to tell you now. That's right. Rocksteady. Our Aerodactyl has also flown up to the white clouds in the sky. I lost Rocksteady like a fucking idiot. Rocksteady is now dead. He has joined Sh Sheva. And it was all my own fault. It was all my own fault. I wasn't paying attention to how low Rocksteady's health was. I went into a battle with a couple of twins with Minin and Plusle. And obviously, Lightning is uh, going to take out Flying. And uh, that was it. They, they took out Rocksteady and I've lost another Pokemon. So the team has lost another member. After all that grinding, it was totally wasted. Anyway, Rocksteady, Shiva, you will be sorely missed, but we've got to move on. Today, today, everyone, we're going to be taking on Morty in the Ecritique City Gym. But before we go ahead and do that, let's have a look at the party because things are looking sexy. All righty then, let's start off with Crystal, who is now evolved into a Dragonair. Look how fucking great she is. Amazing. At level 30, she evolved into Dragonair and I can't wait to level 55 when spoilers she'll evolve into dragonite look at that attack 80 motherfucking four hp of 106 i am loving her well done crystal you have been with us for a long long time helen helen who has been with us from the very start is now a motherfucking guard of war look at her look at that special attack 124 outspeeding most things and she is an absolute valuable member of the team thank you very much helen for being alive i really appreciate it next moving on we have sid sid has joined the party in replace of shiva because uh, a lot of people were like put tyranitar in the team so i did i put sid in the team and sid is looking great that attack of 96 is really good and hp of 111 is looking great as well level twin uh, 32. Well done, Sid. Welcome to the motherfucking party. Moving on, we have got Ariel here who has evolved into Celio. Unfortunately, Celio evolved uh, off screen because unfortunately my fraps decided to cut out for some unknown reason. I was a bit annoyed about it, but I'd already been grinding for an hour and a half, so I wasn't going to go back and do it. So major apologies. Uh, most evolutions I will be doing on screen, so... A bit, a bit gutted that I couldn't bring uh, a live evolution to you. But here we go. She is looking really good as well. 85 special attack and I can't wait until she evolves again. And finally, moving on to Nelly. Nelly, the MVP of the last gym. Oh, I love this guy. I fucking love this guy. Look at that attack. Look at that defense. Look at that HP. He is going to be an absolute steamroller. And with the leftovers, he does just keeps on fucking going steamrolling all the way through it as he did with Whitney's gym. So excellent. That is the party. I, um... Really pleased with how it's looking. Obviously, I would rather Shiva and Rocksteady were still with us, but you can't have everything. These things happen, and uh, I was tired, and I made a mistake. So, kind of all my own fault. But, if you were also watching the grinding session, you would have noticed that I caught three Pokemon. That's right, three different Pokemon. So, let's go and have a look at them. Oh, R.I.P., guys. R.I.P. Sucks ass. Okay, not in this box. They must be in this box here. So, I caught a Meowth. I caught a Kakuna and I caught a Growlithe. So well, let's go ahead and hatch these motherfucking eggs. It's a great way to start the episode. Hatching some eggs and let's do this. Okay then. Let's go there. And what box has not had anybody... Oh, box three has not had anybody taken out of it yet. So let's go ahead and hatch some motherfucking eggs, yo. Motherfucking eggs. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so we've got Meowth here, who is Adamant Technician. Oh, that would have been good for a Scyther, but it's not a Scyther, it's a fucking Meowth. A level 19 Meowth, so whatever we get here is going to be level 19. Come on, come on, come on. Papa needs a brand new egg. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? This one. Alrighty then. Let's have a look at this little guy. Let's double check they don't have any uh, items on them, because you lose the items when the egg hatches. If you don't take them off, all they do have an item, and it's a Sunstone. Okay then, let's bag it. And uh, that will help with the evolution of the Pokemon. Let's have a look what it is. Oh, exciting first part of the episode. Oh, look at that Dragonair just chasing around. Follow me about. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I don't know how you guys are enjoying Pokemon X and Y, but I am absolutely loving the tips off of it. It's Wonder Trade that really has me fascinated. I am absolutely addicted to the Wonder Trade. It's just the surprise. I think, I think that's why I really love these uh, 
egg lock episodes because you could get fucking anything off the wonder trade. You could get Bidoofs, but you could also get some other things like Gibbles. Oh, there we go. We've got an Oddish, and that is the first hatch of the episode. So an Oddish, Oddish is pretty cool. I really like Vile Plume, but I think it's meant to evolve into a Blossom with the Sunstone. Anyway, it's a female. We are going to call this little guy, we're going to call her Mimi. I think Mimi's a, a, a pretty cool name for... Uh, pretty cool name for an Oddish, so that's good. That's a grass Pokemon. We don't have a grass Pokemon on the team yet, so Mimi may be joining the party. Excellent, so that's level 19 Mimi. But uh, Mimi's not going to be used in this episode because uh, uh, I've, it's, it's a lot of grinding to do. So I'm going to do all that off screen. So let me know uh, of the Pokemon we hatched today and if, uh, who you would want in the party or if there's any other Pokemon that you think would be good. Alrighty then, let's move to another box. I think, have we hatched everybody from all the boxes? Yes, so let's go to, I don't know, box five. Let's go to box five, change box. Go to box five and this is where we put Abra. So let's go and change. Uh, oh shit, I should have, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Oddish needs to go up the other side, doesn't he? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oddish needs to come up the back with everybody else. Where is everybody else? Here we go. So we've got a Togepi. Uh, uh, what else have we got? We've got a Togepi. We've got, obviously, Xavier the, the Skorupi. We've got uh, Shadow the Mysterious. And, and we've got Jay the Poliwag. So, like I said, um, we've got an extra slot, slot in the party now. So we're going to be needing somebody else. Ah, uh, fuck. We're going to be needing somebody else. And just let me know who you want to see, motherfuckers. Who you want to see? Oh, we need to go to box five. Box five is where I said I was going to go, wasn't it? So let's go to box five. And we'll go to party Pokemon. This takes a long time. Uh, and we will go in here. Okay, who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? This guy. Alrighty then, we've got another guy. Let's see who it is. Let's double check for items. Although it sometimes gives the fun away. That's unfortunate. Okay, we've got an item here and it is a Razor Fang. Let's bag that. Um, and I could probably guess who it is, but I'm not going to spoil it for anybody else that doesn't know. And here we go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? And it is... Oh, it's a Gligar. That's exactly who I thought it was, but Gligar. Awesome. Let's uh, let's nickname Gligar. Gligar's pretty cool, but we've already got ground Pokemon, but we don't have a flying anymore, so he may be pretty good for the team. So we're going to call this guy Riggs. Uh, after Riggs and Murtaugh. So Riggs from Lethal Weapon, for those of you who don't know what that reference is. Lethal Weapon, check it out. It's really good. It's an 18, so uh, make sure you're old enough to watch it. Actually, don't. Just It's a really good fucking film. Just watch it anyway. Okay, so moving Pokemon, we're going to put... Rigs back over here. I'll obviously rare candy them off screen because it's going to just take far too fucking long to do all that just now. So a docile, a docile Gliger. Awesome. Okay, so we've got one more egg to do before we uh, get into the crux of this episode. First of all, we're going to grab the sassy level 21 Growlithe and we are going to go to another box. So, another box. I'm going to go 13. 13 is my lucky number, and we are going to change to that box, and we're going to see what we get. Hey, Toad, how are you doing? Obviously, one him on a quiz. Here we go, here we go. Papa needs a brand new egg, and it's going to be... It's going to be you. Awesome. Don't know who you are. Don't care. We're going to hatch you, and we're going to love you. I'm not going to move Pokemon, though, because we don't need to do that. We're going to, we're going to move items. This guy... Does this guy have a... Nope, this guy has no item. No item on this egg, so what's it going to be? Let's have a look. It's going to be a... I'm going to say it's a water Pokemon. It's going to be a... Oh, it's a Scyther! Holy fucking shit, I'll take a Scyther all day long, yo. All day long. Okay, we're going to call this guy... Oh, we're going to call him Murtaugh. <laughs> Since I was talking about Riggs and Murtaugh earlier on, so how the fuck do you spell Murtaugh again? I think it is... Mur... Uh, so we've got Riggs and Myrtle. So that's obviously going to be a Bug Steel Pokemon if we evolve into Caesar, which is pretty, pretty spot on. That's what's most likely going to happen. Uh, so we're going to be depositing. So it's a, a naughty technician. Oh, he's so naughty. 
kind of prefer if it was adamant or jolly but hey you can't have everything so we'll pop him in box 18 and there we go so ah, we are ready to rock and roll ladies and gentlemen we're going to up to the fire tower so let's pop ariel in front because ariel is going to be strong in there Awesome, let's do this A Critique City. I've made my way all the way up to there. Yeah, it wasn't particularly exciting. It was just a bunch of trainers, so I just popped that in the grinding montage so we could get ahead and go for the next fucking gym badge in this episode. And that's exciting. I'd, I'd rather get through all the gym badges and you see exciting stuff like that than me just fighting a bunch of trainers and running between their uh, villages. Awesome, okay, who we got here? Hey, buddy, how are you going? My name's Raz and I, I'm a Pokemon trainer, hopefully becoming a Pokemon master. My name is Yusin. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicude, and you are? Raz? Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is here, so I came to look. Take a look in the basement through the hole in the floor. There. Suicune is down there. Holy fucking tits, you are right. He is also partnered up by Raikou and Enti. That's pretty good. Chuck down some fucking balls, mate. Just, just throw some balls down there. I could go downstairs, but I know it would just run away in no time. I know. I, I have tried many times. You're right, mate. You gotta grow some balls, though. You gotta grow some balls if you're gonna be, become a Pokemon Master and catch your favorite Suicune. You're gonna have to go down there and challenge it to a rumble. Hey, buddy, how's it going? My name is, like, Totally Morty. I'm Ecrotique's gym leader. Because my old friend Suicune is here on the trail of Suicune. Well, my old friend here, Yusin, is on the trail of Suicune. I decided to investigate the Burn Tower. Ecrotique has a legend about these legendary Pokemon. Suicune. Inti Raikou. As the gym leader of Ecrotique, I must have a proper understanding about it. You're right, mate. You should really know the Pokemon you're dealing with. But holy fucking shit, here we are. We've got a rival here, yo. We've got our fucking rival. We've not seen him for a while. But last time we did see him, we kicked his ass. So let's go ahead and do this. Hey, Gimp, how's it going? Uh, I, I just really want to say that I, I love your red hair. It just keeps growing longer and longer. And it's luxurious. Do you use L'Oreal to keep it that color? Hmm. Oh, it's you. Stop talking about my hair, you gimp. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. <laughs> that is only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me who has sworn to become a strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. No, mate. Or you're the one that goes around stealing Pokemon, Gimp. You're the one that wears leather-bound gear. But, you know what? If you're challenging me, I'm going to kick your fucking ass, as I always do. So he's sending out McCrow first, and we are sending out Ariel. Now, Ariel, girl, McCrow is weak to ice moves. So you know what to do. Aurora beam the fuck out of it, but it's going to use Nightshade first. All you need to do is hold on, Ariel. Hold on, hold on like a champion. You did only 25 health gone, and you can take out Aurora with your Aurora beam. Take out the McCrow. One hit KO. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes! Yes, girl, get the critical hit, and it's super effective, and you are gone, Macro. Gimp, you are 0 for 1. Let's do this, Ariel. Thank you very much for the experience. You're going to use Bayleaf, so we're going to leave you in, and we are going to try exactly the same tactic, because obviously grass is weak against ice. So there we go. Nature Power has turned into Rock Slide, but okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Hold on, mate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That'll do. It's super effective, but you held on like a champion. Now, Ariel, take out Bayleaf in one hit. Take out Bayleaf in one hit. Take it out, 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 take it out. Oh, it held on. It was super effective, but she held on. Is it going to heal? No, it's going to use nature power again. And it is going, it is going, it's going. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Ariel. Please hold on, please. Good. You fucking held on like a champion. And you can Aurora beam it. And Bayleaf is gone. And Gimp. You are 0 for 2. And you're the one that's saying, I'm a weak trainer? Motherfucker, you are shit, yo. You are shit. Okay, then, Ariel. We're going to be moving on to Haunter. So Haunter is going to be weak against Psychic. So Helen, Gardevoir, you are up, girl. Let's show everybody your sexy, sexy hair. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that fringe. It's so sexy. And here we go. We're going to do Exosensory. And we're going to take out that Haunter and hopefully one hit K. Oh, she outsped the Haunter. And she's using Exosensory. And it is gone. Absolutely tanked that Haunter. And you are gone, Gimp. You are 0 for 3, motherfucker. And you think I'm Pish? Ha ha ha. You are terrible. Okay, level up for Helen. Well done. And you're learning Psychic. Oh, yes. All day long, motherfucker. All day long. We're going to get rid of Exosensory because Psychic is 90 power. Extra sensory is 80 power, that's pretty good. Also make may make the foe flinch, but we could do a shadow sneak on and we could do with calm mind because that boosts stuff. Oh shit, I'm pressing the wrong button. Uh, don't give up on psychic. We need psychic, forget a move. Yes, just uh, forget extra sensory because uh, we need to type coverage. And um, but Magby next, Magby. So, Ariel, 
don't really want to risk... Ah, fuck it. You could take out this magby in one hit. It'll probably outspeed you, Ariel, because you're pretty slow, but you should be able to get the water gun on it. That'll, that'll, do, that'll fucking do it. Try the ember. You, you didn't get the burn, and we should be able to take it out in one hit KO. One hit KO, and you are gone, motherfucker. Magby, you are gone. You're just too weak, Gimp. You're just too weak, yo. You're just too weak, or I have overleveled. It's probably the latter, but... It does not matter. Okay, so we've got Kadabra coming up, so we're gonna fire in Nelly because Nelly is strong and Kadabra's defenses aren't very good. So, Nelly, you're gonna be outsped, but you're you're pretty damn good at tanking hits. So let's do this. Out of desperation, weak people sometimes think it's okay to fight back. Is that why you're fighting back, mate? Oh, the stable failed, and you're gonna body slam Kadabra, and you're gonna take it out in one motherfucking hit. Okay, flawless victory. Eat that, Gimp. Eat that right in your stupid red head face. Awesome. <clears throat> I'm not fighting with another weakling ever again. It's just too much playing. I, I don't know what you said there, mate. I missed that last bit. <laughs> anyway, Gimp, uh, what's that? What's that, bro? What's that? You lost again? You lost again to me, and I'm apparently weak. No, motherfucker, you're terrible. You are terrible. Anyway, Gimp, you've been defeated once again. Go home and cry to your mommy. Cry to your mommy. Oh, uh, whatever. I would never be able to catch... You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Want a bet, motherfucker? Want a fucking bet. Okay, so, Ariel, let's quickly go into our bag, because we need to heal... Uh, because you took a couple of hits there. So we'll go to Super Potion and we'll heal you up. That will do. Okie dokie. Let's go around here because there's a trainer. Hey buddy, how's it going? You're probably a fire breather. I like your hair. And don't worry, we fire breathers know the true power of fire better than anyone. You're right, but I'm a water motherfucking trainer and I will kick your ass, Ned. That's not a fire Pokemon. I don't know who told you that, but they were obviously lying to you. Anyway, Aurora Beam this coughing right in his face. Look how happy coughings look. They look really fucking happy. Level up. Well done, Ariel. Level up. So, a Numel, and a Numel is obviously fire Pokemon, so we're gonna just water gun it and take it out. And Ariel, you are fucking loving this shit. And Qualava. Love a Typhal Ocean, but there's no time for any of that crap. Fucking Ariel just got burned. And I don't think I have any burn heals. Fuck. Okay, then, Ariel, you're getting switched out. You don't take damage with burns as you're walking, so we don't need to worry about that. So. Let's put, let's put in Helen. Let's put in Helen. Helen will. Helen should be able to outspeed most things in here and take them out. Oh, this is the first encounter though, and it's a Grimer. So, uh, can we go straight for the Pokeball? Let's go for it. Grimer, please get in the ball. Ah, uh, nope. Okay, so let's see what. Right, Magical Leaf shouldn't kill Grimer because it should be, yeah, not very effective. Okay, so you're going to minimize. We're going to use Magical Leaf once more, and it shouldn't kill it. Oh, that's so fucking close. Okay, then. Helen, we're going to catch this guy now. We're going to fucking catch him, and we're going to hatch an egg. Maybe at the end of the episode? We'll see how long the episode's running on for. So, we will do this, and you are in the ball. Got you, Grimer. Got you. Okay, so that's another egg for us to hatch, and another possibility to fill that sixth and final slot. Excellent. So, we've got an antidote, which is going to be very handy, and we've got another fire trainer. So, motherfucker, how are you doing? This place is burning to a crisp, and it's made of wood. So, is it really wise to be playing with fire in a wooded environment? I'm practicing my fire breathing in the burn tower. Don't try this at home. You're right, because look at the state of the fire tower. Your mum would not be pleased, fire breather. Your mum would not be pleased. Anyway, Helen, let's take this Magby out, and we're going to be using Psychic for the very first time, and you're gone. And it's gone. So Slowpoke is next. Oh, and Magical Leaf will take that guy out. Helen has got a great variety of moves, and that's why I love her so much, along with the fact that she has beautiful eyes. Beautiful, beautiful eyes. Anyway, Charmeleon is gone, and Richard the Fire Breather has gone too. Excellent, so let's pop downstairs, because we've got some legendary Pokemon to meet. How exciting. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there is Enti, there is Suicune, and there is Raikou. Raikou is off, motherfucker. Raikou is off. Enti is off as well, and Suicune is coming. Oh, Suicune is bouncing around, and Suicune is staring at me. Holy fucking shit, it stared right into my soul, and it saw that I am pure evil. Did you see it? Suicune raced like a blur right in front of my eyes. I have been chasing Suicune for almost ten years, but I have never been this close. <laughs> I'm all choked up. G grow up hair, mate. What you need to do is sneak attack Suicune. Sneak attack Suicune. Take a along a strong Pokemon and throw a ball at it. Or if you want to be a wimp, take a Master Ball along and just throw it at it. By the way, it is clear to me that Suicune took notice of your presence. Ecrotique's legendary Pokemon are said to come to people only when they recognize their talents. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. You're right, tie it up, whip it, that kind of thing. Anyway, Raz, we will meet again. 
You're right, mate. We will meet again. We will meet again, but we are done in the fire tower. Okay, apparently we're not done in the fire tower. I want to take a trip downstairs again and a trip back up because I'm, uh, I'm in training. I've got a marathon to run later on in the year. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Anyway, I can't get out of this place because I'm pissing about. So, uh, let's just run away from this Cubone because it is so sad and lonely. Uh, Cubones, man. Their Pokedex entry is really quite scary. It's like, uh, oh, there's a fucking Pokeball here. Can I get through here and grab it? No, I have to go all the way around. So, let's go and do that. Let, let, let me tell you a little story about Cubone <laughs> while we're here. Uh, yeah, Cubone's Pokedex entry is really sad. It's saying... Uh, Nobody's ever seen the Cubone's face because it's covered by the skull of his mother. So you're like, holy shit, what happens to the mothers when the Cubones are born? Did the, the mothers just fucking die during childbirth? Is that what happens? Or do the Cubones eat and devour their mother and then wear their skull? Either way, it's pretty fucking creepy. Along with Drowsy, by the way. Fucking Drowsy, who like puts children to sleep and then eats their dreams. Who the fuck does that? Those Drowsy should be locked up. They're really really not suitable for a children's game <laughs> anyway i don't know why i'm talking i'm doing a pokemon fucking let's play and i'm swearing away like a little bitch anyway we are done in this place let me the fuck out of here honestly it's this um I'm, I'm playing the game on a control pad and it's just sometimes it's just so sensitive it's just not taking me the the way that i want to go but fuck it we are out of here okie dokie so ecritique city we are ready to go and challenge Morty, your gym leader. But first of all, we're going to go and heal our Pokemon and then make our way through. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that Morty is a, is a psychic Pokemon trainer. So what we need is dark moves against it. And the person that has bite, that's right. Sid, the brand new Pokemon in our team, is going to be taking the lead in this gym. So Sid, welcome. Uh, in fact, what I want to do is give Sid the leftovers. So take the leftovers off of Nelly. And let's put the leftovers on uh, Sid. The leftovers need to go on to Sid. So let's go in here. Uh, one more. Let's move across. Leftovers and the leftovers. Uh, don't trash. That would be annoying. Uh, leftovers go on Sid. Excellent. Okay, so we are ready to go and take on Morty in the gym. Well, we're not quite ready. We've got to go and beat all of his trainers first. But let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. Here we go. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Got any tips for me and my friends for the gym? Yo! Right, champ in the making. The trainers here use ghost-type Pokemon. At will. A ghost is like a shade or phantom. It won't do any good to use physical strength alone. Okay, so actually, talking about that, let's just fucking fire in Helen. Helen is going to tank this, this gym because Helen's not really had an opportunity in a gym. And we've had her from the very beginning, so let's reward Helen. Now she's evolved into a Gardevoir. Let's do this, girl. Let's fucking do this. Look how happy she is. Hel Helen is very eager. You're very eager, girl. Let's do this. Let's do this, motherfucker. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? Yes, girl. Yeah, I can. Medium Georgina. Okay, you are medium, and we are just going to take you out no fucking problem at all. Psychic is taking you out no problem. We're bringing in a Duskull, and we'll take out the Duskull with another Psychic, and we are just moving through these Pokemon like no problem at all. Shuppet is coming along, and Psychic is going to take out that Shuppet no problem either, and you are done for, lady. You are done for. Okay, so we can... Oh, fuck. Gotta start this shit again. Okay, so we've got to go slowly past these people because we don't want to fall off into the darkness. Hey, girl, how's it going? I'm trying to fight your gym leader. Not sure of your way. Defeat me if you want a hint. Okay, then, old lady, let's do this. Grace, and you've got Haunter this time, so you're improving your Pokemon. Your Pokemon is level 27, so I'm gonna be guessing that. Uh, What's his name's Pokemon? Morty are going to be uh, around about 30, so very similar to me. So you've got Sableye here. I'm just going to Psychic again, but it's going to Detect. And you're going to Shadow Sneak, and it's super effective. Oh, shit. I was protecting itself, but... I... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I think we're in trouble here. We're in trouble here. We're in trouble here. So let's take her out. I don't think Helen is going to be particularly great in this gym. It, only if she can outspeed people. But if they start using Sucker Punch in that, we are in trouble. Fucking stop detecting. Really, Sid? Take this guy out. That's it. Oh, man. Honestly, this gym... Mm, I got a bit cocky, I think. Sable, I stopped detecting. Honest to fucking God. Anyway, done him. Done him out, and we can... We need to go in... Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, we may as well do that. Let's go out and fucking heal real quick. Um, hmm, I might have to rethink my tactic. Obviously, I knew, like, 
Ghost and Dark moves were strong against Helen, but I was just kind of hoping she'd outspeed things. But our level is actually going to be very similar to Morty's. So I think we're going to have to slightly rethink our tactic because we don't want to lose anybody. But Helen, you can t you should be able to take out all these uh, channelers and that, that shit and fucking mediums. You should be able to take them out, no problem. So you can keep going with them just now. Let's fucking make our way across here slowly because it's when I start running that fall off. Oh, here we go. Here's the next medium. I spent the spring with my Pokemon, then summer, autumn, and winter. And then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. Hmm. Yes, yes, you have. Edith. Okay, so let's just hopefully outspeed it and psychic it. And we'll take you out. One hit KO, Drift Bloom. And we'll move on to Mistrevious. So hopefully again, outspeed it and we'll be able to kill it in one hit KO. So as long as we outspeed things, we'll be fine. Frolas. So I know you're ice as well, but we can one hit KO you as well. Because Helen is that fucking strong. Okay, uh, no problem. That's gone. So let's move around this girl and we'll move forward. Excellent. Let's go and fight this person. Oh, we're going to have to go for in the fucking back of her now. I shall win! Okay, but I don't think you will because I'm going to outspeed you, so you're using a Drift Bloom. Okay, so that is a, a ghost as well, but we have just one hit KO'd you as well. And Helen is up to motherfucking level 34. Special attack is Rose to 135 and speed is 88, so we should be outspeeding most things along here. So, okay, that's good. So let's skip around here. Fuck, I have to be so careful. I don't want to go all the way back. And then we're at Morty. Okay, we're at Morty. So hopefully, do we have any ethers to uh, heal my PP? We've got one et. Oh, it's a paralyze here. We've got one ether. So let's use that real quick on uh, the beauty Helen. And we'll put it on Psychic. And then we'll save ourselves a trip back to the Pokemon Center. Alrighty then, here we go. We're going to be taking on Morty. Morty, you motherfucker. But before I go ahead and do that, we are going to quickly save state because that would be the worst thing in the world if we have to uh if my recording fucks up again i don't want that anyway morty my name is raz and i'm here to challenge you i already have three badges and whitney was a bit of a challenge but we took her out anyway so helen ariel sid crystal nelly and grimer grimer's in the party <laughs> i forgot about grimer look how happy he is and grimer you're here too so we can't use you but you're here anyway Anyway, guys, you, we are here. We are here for the fourth gym badge of the adventure. This could be the halfway point in our adventure all the way to the Pokemon League. But we need to get past Morty first. So, Helen, Sid, you're going to be the majority of the workers here. Ariel and Crystal probably will come in at some point. But Nelly isn't going to be a great use here because of the uh, immunity ghost has to normal moves. But, guys, we can fucking do this. So let's go ahead. I have full faith in you, and we're not going to lose anybody this time, okay? And we're going to do this for Shiva and Rocksteady. Shiva and Rocksteady, here we go, Morty. I am here. I am Raz, and I am here to destroy you. What say you, bro? Like, it's good of you to come here. Here in Ecrity, Pokemon are awesome. It's said that the rainbow-hued Pokemon will come down to appear before the truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale. So I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. I see shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. Okay, then Morty, like I'm totally going to beat you. But let's do this. He is talking about the rainbow-hued Pokemon is Ho-Oh for anybody that is interested. The secret gold mascot. Anyway, he is sending out a level 27 Duskull first. So Helen. We know what to do here, girl. What we're going to do is psychic. We're going to psychic it. We're going to beat you. We're going to outspeed you. And we are going to one hit KO you. One hit KO. One hit KO. One hit KO. Yes. And you are zero for one, Morty. Zero for motherfucking one. And we're going to take you out. Helen, well done, girl. Well done. You're going to send out Shop It. So we're going to keep you in, Helen, unless anything bad happens to you. So, Shop It. Shop It is so fucking cute. Look at it. It's so hard to take it. But psychic it right in the fucking face, Helen. Right in the fucking face. We will take this guy out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, one hit KO, thank you very much, mwah, Helen, mwah, thank you very much, okay, moving on to the third Pokemon is Mistrevious, so Mistrevious, another ghostly Pokemon, who is an option for the sixth slot in our party, is gonna die in one hit KO, hopefully, hopefully one hit KO, hopefully one hit KO, hopefully, oh, I thought she was gonna hold on then, I thought Mistrevious was gonna hold on, but Helen, with your fucking beautiful special attack, you took him out. Okay, so we've got Sableye. Now, Sableye was a fucking pain in the ass last time. So, we're going to switch Pokemon. And we're going to bring in 
Sid. Sid, you're going to come in and you're going to be taking on the Sable Eye. Sable Eye will probably know detect and all that like last time, but we're going to hopefully try and get through it and we're going to bite it. Excellent. So it flinched. That is fucking brilliant. Sable Eye's steadfast increased its speed. Okay, so Shadow Claw, hold on like a champion. Hold. Oh, that took off a lot more than I really wanted it to, but it's fine. We should be able to do this. And we will leftovers cure up and that will restore a bit of HP. So Sid, you can do this, pal. You can fucking do this. It's going to shadow claw you again, but you're going to hold on like a champion. You're going to hold on like a champion. You're going to bite it one more time. And as long as it doesn't get a critical hit here, we should be fine. We should be able to take it out. Oh, but it's using a hyper potion. It's using a fucking hyper potion. Morty, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, Morty. Okay, come on. You can do this. You restored a little bit more HP. And... Should I risk an outrage? Because nah... Nah, I better not, I better not, I better not, I better not. Torment, okay, so that's uh, that's wasting your turn. Subjected to Torment, that's fine. We're going to do this. We can do this, Sid. We can do this. You're restoring a little bit more health with leftovers, and you're going to bite it again. You're going to bite that Sable Eye. Oh, you can't use that move twice in a row with Torment. Fuck, that's right, isn't it? Fuck it, Outrage. We're going to risk the Outrage. We're going to risk the Outrage. Oh, shit. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out, take out that Sable Eye. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes! Yes, said you fucking magical motherfucker. You magical motherfucker, said Well fucking done. That is brilliant. Okay, so you're going to heal up with the leftovers, but I'm going to take you out. Gengar. Now, Gengar, he's he's going to be a bit of a bitch. Gengar is pretty damn fast, and its special attack is high as fuck. So we really need to watch out. So Morty is sending out his Gengar at level 29. Okay, so we're six levels higher. We should be able to outspeed it. Outspeed it. Outspeed it. Okay, okay, Gengar. Gengar, go. Gengar, go. Go, 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 go. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Oh! <laughs> Helen girl, you took it out. One hit, motherfucking KO. One hit, KO. Oh, you are going to get all the rare candies in the world, girl. You're going to get all the rare candies in the world. Thank you very much. And Haunter is the final Pokemon. We shouldn't have a problem here. And Morty, you should be gone. 0 for 5 thus far. And Haunter. It's not over yet, like, it's totally not over. We can still do it, guys. No, you can't, because I'm going to psychic the fuck out of your Haunter, and your Haunter is going to go down. Look at that stupid face as it faints, as it faints, as it faints. That's it, Helen. That's it, girl. That's it, girl. You have taken it on. Hey, Sid, Helen, you beautiful motherfuckers. Helen was the MVP of this game, and we have done it. We have grabbed the fourth motherfucking badge of the adventure. Well done, girl. Well done, GG Morty, GG, I know you said that you thought you were the fucking boss, but hey, here I am destroying you with uh, two of my Pokemon, I still had the rest of them there, so what do you say, brah? Like, I don't think our potentials are so different, but you seem to have something more than that. So be it, this badge is yours. Rez received the Fog Badge from Morty, thank you very much for the Fog Badge, I will pin that beside the other three, and that was for the, the two sweet fainted Pokemon. Rocksteady and Shiver. <sighs> Rest in peace, guys. Rest in peace. Like, by having the Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, included trading Pokemon, will obey you. Also, Pokemon will be able to use Surf. Here is another thing. I want you to have this, too. Obtained TM30. Thank you very much, Morty. I will put that in my bag. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. I'll give you my number also. Like, I'll be waiting to hear about your travels. Thank you very much, Morty. I really appreciate your phone number. I will call you up when I need some cool talking. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That's us halfway to the Pokemon League. We have got four badges. We uh, absolutely tanked through that gym. No problems at all. Thanks to Helen, the very first Pokemon in our adventure. She is still with us. And she... Oh, could I have just done that? Oh, I could have just done that anyway. <laughs> and got out. Anyway, there we go. Ecritique City. Um, I still need to go and explore all the houses. Um, but I will do that uh, at the start of the next episode. Um, during the grinding montage of the next Pokemon. But before we go ahead and end this episode off, we're going to move Pokemon because we have got uh, another Pokemon to hatch. So let's go to Box. I f I'm thinking about Box 6. I don't know why. 6 is ringing in my head. And uh, I want to try it. Oh, hello, Geodude. So we're going to go for Grimer, who was along for the party. <laughs> a modest Grimer. Anyway, here we go. Papa needs a brand new egg. Papa needs a brand new egg. Make it a good one. Make it a good one for the end of the episode. Okay, here we go. We've got another egg. And we are going to hatch the fuck out of it. Let's see if it's got any items on it. Uh, no, we don't want that. We're going to go to the party Pokemon. It's got an item on it. And it has got a never melt ice. Okay, so that means it's obviously an ice Pokemon. But we shall see. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's going to be potentially joining the party? It is a... 
It is a Sveal. So Sveal, unfortunately, you are not going to be joining the party. Uh, because we already have a Sveal. Uh, anyway, we're going to name you because you may come around to us in the end. I'm going to be calling you... I'm going to call you Chill. I'm going to be calling you Chill. Okay, let's uh, switch over to the H I. LL. Excellent. Chill. Welcome to the the team. You've uh, got a big brr, big sister actually in Ariel and she is really good. I'm really enjoying having Ariel in the party. But there we go everybody. Uh, let's go to deposit Pokemon and we will put uh, Spheral in, into the box. Uh, where are we going? We're going to box... 16. I'm going to box 16. So let's have a look at box 16 and see what potential Pokemon we can have in the final slot of the party. So we could have a Togepi, we could have a Mistrevious, we could have a Poliwag, we could have an Oddish, we could have a Skorupi or a Xavier or, well, not Sveal. Anybody who has Sveal, I'm not going to take Sveal. We could have Hounder, we could have Squirtle, we could, well, we're not going to have a Bomb in the Snow because that uh, shouldn't be there. It should be uh, Snow Run. No. Not, not Snow Run. Fuck it. I can't remember who it is. Um, Abra, Cypher, or Gligar. So there are the options for uh, the sixth and final slot of the, in the party because I uh, kind of fucked up and got Rocksteady killed. But that is completely my fault. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've done a shit ton today. We have hatched four Pokemon. We've made our way to Ecrytic City. We have cleared out the Fire Tower, saw some legendary Pokemon, destroyed Gib, and we moved on to beat Morty of Ecrytic City to grab that oh-so-sweet fourth gym badge of the adventure, meaning we are halfway towards the Pokemon League. Anyway, everybody, I've been Razbowski. Remember to choose who you want in the sixth and final slot of the party and you've been the fantastic bastards as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you you really really make this special for me making videos anyway enjoy yourself and goodbye